Greetings. Uh, we're going to talk about adding audio to the VR template in Unreal Engine 4.27. This is the default VR template. should look pretty familiar. Uh, the 4.26 template, I believe, is pretty different looking. Um, so just take note there. Uh, OK, so the 4.27 template already has an audio, spatialized audio file in it. And it's in this little fire right here. You can see if you just sort of look around, that actually is a little speaker down there. And if you click on it, you can see we've got a thing called fire queue here. And if you scroll down, you're going to see allow spatialization under the attenuation uh, section of the details panel here is checked. That means when you uh, approach it or go away from it, the audio will increase and decrease in volume. Uh, if you unchecked allow spatialization, this fire sound would play of equal volume no matter how you moved around in the space. So just a heads up there. Uh, also really great uh, that Unreal put an audio file in here so we could check it out. OK, I'm going to go back to our kind of spawn location. And let's say we wanted to add a uh, new file, new audio file in to our level. And we wanted it to just, you know, play when the level loads, have it loop, um, maybe be a kind of ambient desert sound or something like that. So first, let's go ahead and make a folder. I'm in the content folder right now. I'm going to make a new folder called audio just to keep things tidy. Let's double click into there. And um, there's a website called freesound.org. It's really great. Uh, there's some really nice desert sounds and some other sounds on here. But there's a couple of things to um, be aware of. One of the things you'll see is uh, you have to create an account in order to download. But so far, I've never ran in, into any spam or anything like that. Um, one thing, though, you'll notice here is the bit depth here is 24. Uh, Unreal does not like 24-bit um, wave files. They Unreal only really likes 16-bit wave files. So you'll need to convert it in order to uh, use this file. And you can use that using Audacity or Adobe Audition. Audacity is an open source audio editor. That'll work. Um, also, you'll notice um, uh, when you try to drag an MP3 in here, uh, Unreal will complain. And so you want to convert your MP3s to WAV files. And there's a pretty good free uh, converter. If you just go to Cloud Convert, I think I just Googled like MP3 to WAV converter, WAV converter. Here it is. Um, you'll see I'm add, already added a little loop.mp3 in here. Uh, you click download, it'll convert. You can actually pick lots of other stuff up here as well. They have all sorts of conversion tools. But that will convert an MP3 to a WAV file for you without um, you having to do any work. Anyway, so a couple things to know. 24-bit WAV files aren't going to work. You're going to need to convert them to 16. Um, and if you only have an MP3 file, you need to convert it to a WAV file to do that. So I have a pre-existing WAV file called Desert Loop. It's 16-bit. It's going to drag in just fine. And there's our audio file. Now, there's a thing you need to do to audio files to um, interact with them in Unreal. And what you need to do is right-click on this audio file and make a Q file. So do create Q. And now you've got a Q file. And let's double click into this Q file and you can see a few things. Um, you can adjust the volume of the audio file, which is good. The pitch, which is really nice. Uh, you can also change some uh, all sorts of kind of sending and effects chains and add echo and all sorts of cool stuff in here if you want. Um, one thing, though, you'll notice is I call this desert loop, which means I, I want it to loop. But there's nothing that's making this audio file loop right now. So if you right click here and type loop, you'll see looping. And now we have this looping functionality here in the node editor. Um, I'm going to use the Alt key and click on here to disconnect these wires. And then I'm going to add my output from my Q into looping and then output to here. And now I have a looping sound file. Go ahead and click Save and close. Um, and again, remember, this is kind of your way to interface with the sound file 
um, in Unreal. This is the sound source file itself. So now what we want to do is drag in our <clears throat> looping audio file. And there's a couple things we might want to do with it. Like I said before, you could spatialize this, right? So maybe if you um, had some sort of cube over here that was like a, a portal to a desert land or something, you could play this desert soundscape as you walked up close to it. Um, and to do that, you would use allow spatialization here to do that. So as you walked up close to it, it would get louder. And as you walked away from it, it would get um, quieter. If you just wanted the sound to play, say you had created a desert landscape and you just wanted a sort of desert ambient sound track happening, you would just unclick allow spatialization here to um, make that spatialization effect go away. If you do hit the play key here, play button here, you should be able to hear your sound file play and also you can drive around and um, check out the spatialization and stuff. So you can kind of preview your work, which is nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that for now. And so another way we might want to um, have sound work in our VR experience is we might want to trigger that sound, a sound when something happens, say when we collide into it or we, we pass through it. So a thing you could do maybe, right, is you could have a sound file play when you cross through this door. That could be kind of a fun, uh, maybe creepy thing to do. And um, here's how you do that. So here is a box trigger. We're going to go ahead and save current. We've got our box trigger. And what we need to do is we need to set up our level to um, understand that this box trigger exists. And then also we need to play our desert loop cue once the box trigger is triggered. So to do that, the best kind of easiest way to do that is to go into blueprints, open level blueprint. And if you right click, you're gonna see here, you've got add event for trigger box one. And trigger box one is the name of that trigger we created. And these are some different um, things we can do and collision is what we want. And what we want is add on actor begin overlap, which is a mouthful. But what that really means is when the actor overlaps, begins the overlap with the trigger, the sound should play. So click that. And we've got this little uh, hunk of functionality here. And what we want to do then is pull off of here and type play sound play. And that's going to show all of our play options. And what we want here is play sound at location. And that's cool. But now we need to tell it what sound to play. And so what we're going to do is click this little select asset box down here. And what we want to make sure that we select is the Q file, not the asset, not the audio asset itself. And what we have here is Desert Loop Q. And here it is. And you can also actually even set your location here if you want. So you could have um, the actor trigger the sound, but then the sound could play somewhere else, right, behind them or something like that if you want to do that. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it at 0, zero, zero. OK, so go ahead and hit Compile, Save. And so now we have a looping sound file. And when the player crosses over this box, it's going to play that sound. And it's going to play it on loop um, the whole time. You could also um, say you didn't have a loop and it was just like a one shot. It could just be like a um, something that goes like, I don't know, boot or something like that. Um, you could go into your level blueprint. And you could also um, add an event called end overlap. And that would also let you trigger a separate sound when it when you leave the trigger box. So you could play sound at location here. And so maybe when you a player enters the, the trigger box, a sound could be like boo. And then when they leave the trigger box, it could be like ah, 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 or something like that. So um, this is a way to trigger different sounds. Um, either at the beginning of the trigger box entry or at the exit uh, spot of the trigger box. I don't really have anything here, so I'm just going to delete this part. But uh, you compile and save. And that is adding sound to your VR experience in Unreal Engine. Pretty easy, just a few things to note. Again, create your queue file uh, if you want it to be uh, spatialized or not. Um, Go and add, oops, click on this audio file. 
if you want it to be spatialized or not. Oh, one thing, I, uh, click this checkbox here. The one thing I want to mention is if you want the sound to load automatically, you want to make sure this auto activate box is checked. So when the level plays, even if you're far away from this fire, you might hear it very faintly, you're going to hear that. If you have auto activate turned off, it's not going to come on until it's triggered. So uh, auto activate if you have a sort of background sound bed is what you want because you want that to run as soon as the level starts. Okay, uh, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial on adding sound to your VR level. Um, sound can really be such a powerful and yet simple kind of way to create a real sense of space and immersion uh, and interactivity in your level without having to do a lot of fancy 3D modeling and stuff. So I hope that was useful. Take care.